Hey, anyone have a CB in their car? Any CB people? I'm a CB? Couple? CBs are great. I love my CB. You know what I like to do? I like to mess with the truck drivers. That's fun. And I'll tell you why. They do not care for it when you question their sexuality. <laughs> so I like to drive past a truck stop. You know, there's 20, 30 trucks out there. Get on channel 19. Breaker 1-9. Trucker cock. Who wants it? <laughs> Come on with you homosexual truck drivers out there. Talk to Teddy Bear. Or just call them up by name. Hey, flatbed, going southbound. I like the way you handle your rig there, driver. Pull over, I want to lay on top of you. Just out of respect. I ain't no homosexual or nothing. I've just been in my truck a long time. Come on. First thing they do always, they threaten to beat me up. They're like, I'll kick your ass. I go, yeah, roger that. Fight me or fuck me. We'll get to know one another. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to lay on top of you. Who wants it? <laughs> Come on with you, homo. <laughs> Anyone know what a 1036 is? 1036? Yeah, it's a, a request for the time. That's right. I'll get on and ask for a 1066, which doesn't mean anything. They'll jump down my throat. What the hell's a 1066? <laughs> Well, that's when you give me the time, then blow me for half an hour. <laughs> Who wants it? <laughs> Come on with you. Homosexual. <laughs> I saw that show, uh, the movie Titanic. It's like three and a half hours long. You know why it's so long? It's because the woman's telling the story. Three hours later, she's still going on and on and on. It had to be that way. Think about it. What if the guy survived and told the story? It'd be a two-minute movie, right? You're like, hey, what happened? I don't know. I fucked her and we hit an iceberg. And she turned blue and sank, you know? where I lost track of her. <laughs> we have strange laws in this country, too. You know, in America, you have to be 21 to drink alcohol, but only 18 to star in a porno movie. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Can you imagine some 18-year-old girl her first day on the set? Oh, my God. I've been fucked everywhere. Hey, could I get a beer? Nope. <laughs> you ain't ready for that. And prostitution is illegal, right? You can't pay someone to have sex? Oh yeah? What do they do in porno movies? They pay those people to have sex, right? The only difference is they're filming it. How the hell did they come up with that law? All right, if you're gonna pay someone to have sex, then I get to watch. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the law. That means if I have sex with a prostitute, as long as I'm filming it, it's legal? <laughs> yeah, right. I'd be at home every night. No, I'm not a pervert. I'm a porno star. Because <laughs> drinking and driving is a very individual thing. Some people can drive fine after a couple of drinks. Some people are shitty drivers when they're sober. <laughs> to make it fair for everyone, they should have a bar at the Department of Motor Vehicles. Yeah, you'd be able to go down there, drink as much as you feel comfortable with, get in your car, take a shot at the road test. <laughs> yeah, if you pass your road test, they take your blood alcohol content, stamp that on your license, you should be able to drive to that level. <laughs> and we need more signals on our car, don't you think? We need like left turn, right turn, and I'm about to do something really fucking stupid. <laughs> That's right, if you're a shitty driver, leave it on at all times so we know who you are. 
I like the idea of drinking and driving. They should have a race like that. Forget the Indianapolis 500. I want to see the old Milwaukee 500. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Every time you pull in for gas, they gotta chug a six pack. That'd be great. They'd funnel it in like they do with the fuel. You'd be sitting in the car. Ah. Be an interesting race. Rusty Wallace is off to the side of the road. Oh no, he's got a fat chick in the back seat of his car. That's gonna do it for Rusty. He's lost to fat chicks. You can see his car rocking from the grandstand. Oh, his wife is not happy.